Hey guys, in this short tutorial, we'll be showing you the change through effect. First shot, have the subject complete the first half of the walkthrough. Second shot, have the subject do second half of the walkthrough. Okay, so using an unstable piece of cardboard was probably a bad idea and made this effect much harder to do. For example, if I used a solid pole, all I have to do is do a simple layer mask without any keyframing of movements. At least I'll get to show you how much work I needed to do for this effect. Apply a layer mask to the first clip. Invert the layer mask if needed. Trim the second clip so the timing of the movement of both clips match. Stack the clips to overlap. But notice the black area that's been masked out. So the key thing to almost all these editing effects is to create a visual effects plate. This will be needed when you need to mask away parts of the clip. Essentially, it's a still shot of the background environment. Pro tip, keep the lighting consistent. To create this, you can simply make the background clip 0% speed. Extend that portion to the length of the entire video. Then place the visual effects plate underneath all the clips. Since the lighting was different between the shots, I'll need to feather the edge of the mask to help blend the clips. But first, let's fix up the basic mask that we created before. At this point, we can fine-tune the timing a bit better. Using the opacity slider for one of the clips helps us with this. Once we've activated the keyframes, we'll go every few frames following the motion of the box with the draw mass points. For better accuracy, we can go frame by frame. When adjusting moving masks, it helps to visualize at which point the keyframes are. Control V expands any animations like keyframing done on this clip. I'd love to see what you guys create, so link me in the comments below. Until then, Get your edits on.